become unpalatable to a lot of the world because we've taken our big salt shaker and just put it all on one piece of steak. And they'll take a bite and spit it out rather than understanding it's not about one big event or one big moment. It's about all of us containing that salt and going into our schools, our universities, our workplaces, our shopping centers and salting our world. Honestly, we just need the church to stop doing church and start being the church and not waiting for some elite Navy SEALs to come in and do the big crusade that's going to win your town to Christ. It is Christians being Christians in the midst of a lost and a broken world. That's why we need great churches empowering Christians to be the church. Not just go to church or do church, but to be the church. I love God's church when we are the church. But this is what happens. We're here in our little artificial social construct, our defense fortress. And then every now and again in our quiet time, our Bible flips open to Matthew 28. We're like, oh my gosh, the great suggestion. I mean, okay, the great. Jesus is saying if you're having a bad hair day and you've got nothing better to do this week, why don't you go into that big, bad, evil world? tell the world that Jesus lives and so we go but that's not my calling that's not my gifting that's for all those types those Chris Kane weird evangelist types in the church you know those ones that are really called to reach the, them so we get all the you get the point if the church learns to be the church not just do church things, but to be the church. That means that when we leave this place and we go out and we encounter our next door neighbors or our friends or our relatives, we begin to share that gospel. And suddenly the hopelessness, the laments, are turned to joy and great hope. And the kingdom of God is built within the midst of God's people as they go out and as she says becomes the salt and the light let's pray father move us in ways that we have not yet even imagined help us to be the church to be the people of God to live with the hope and the expectation of the coming day of the Lord and that day is now And move our hearts to follow you. And speak into our nation and into our community and into our churches and into our homes. Of your love and forgiveness and redemption. Amen.